We're going to call this video Mist, as in Milwaukee Mist. Apparently, we're also going to start the video on upside down. But what I have here is an adapter to a nothing. I got nothing useful. This adapter goes to a Makita, so I guess we're stuck doing the Makita thing. But that's okay. We have something very interesting here for you guys. This is the hybrid Makita. It does hammer drill impact, all the functions and stuff. We're going to put a long battery. Damn, this video is a train wreck. We're going to put this battery on here, stacked lithium. And we're going to put this battery on here because it should be the same. If not, it would just be another blunder of the video. But we're going to keep it rolling. Wish me luck because we're going to need it. Well, here's one thing positive. we got the DeWalt on here. All right, now we're in the highest settings, highest speeds, all the things. Let's see what this thing's got. Now, I don't hate on the video too much or the Makita. This is a jack of all trades and a master of none. Hammer drill impact driver. It's definitely the weaker version of it, but it's all in one. So it's one tool that does all the things. Let's put the 6.0 Milwaukee battery on here if it will let us. Let's get the noise difference. And we're off. All right, so the question is, did you guys notice a big difference? I'll have to rewatch the video myself. This is 6.0 stacked lithium. This is a 1.7 stacked lithium. So the point of this video, in case you missed it, because I'm going to get a lot of questions, because the comments have been particularly special, let's just say. The point of the video is that this is 1.7 amp hours. This is 6 amp hours. Now what the amp hours does... If you look at the calculations, amp hours just means more runtime. But if you look at the way batteries work and how this maintains a higher average voltage, you would know that this is going to maintain a higher voltage while the tool is under load. So that's really all that the amp hours are doing. With stack lithium, you don't drop as many volts. So my whole point for this whole thing was that Milwaukee really missed the mark and they should have made a smaller battery for everybody using impacts. It would have been really nice because this thing is sweet, man. This thing is tiny. Look how small that is. And it's just a missed opportunity. It kind of feels like Milwaukee's doing this like Apple does, just making something slightly different and not really giving us what we want. But Hopefully, we get a smaller battery soon. I'm really looking forward to it. Please, Milwaukee, give us a smaller battery. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.